one of the hardest VHS tapes to get your hands on are 90s and 80s horror movies. They're so hard to pick up and buy from resellers. Do they actually sell on eBay? Sellers can price horror movies on VHS so high when you're looking to buy them. Garage sales, on your uh, Facebook marketplace, on your Gumtree, on your Craigslist. So hard to buy them at cheap prices. And the thing is, people are actually buying them. So if local resellers are selling them at a high price, is eBay selling them even higher? So let's just type in horror VHS to start off with. Alright, let's search horror VHS. Let's just have a look what's uh, been recently listed. Um, they're not really horror, I don't know why they do that, but uh, Toxic Avenger, that's a pretty good price, $11. 28 bucks postage, must be coming from America. Ghoulies 3, free postage and $24, that's pretty good. Uh, Goosebumps, I'll tell you right now, they will not sell. Uh, Legend of the Mummy, that won't sell, I doubt it very much. Deep Blue Sea. Remember, this is not in order of high and low to start off with. We're just having a quick little look of what's recently posted by people. Clive uh, Barker's uh, $150, though. The Evil Ambassador. See? $6. Mm. Manga. Sexy Horror. $24. $24. $40 postage, you fucking crook bastards. Cost fucking $8.55 to post locally. Uh, if I die before I wake, rats, good one, good price there, $29, Tales from the Crypt, classic, ooh, TV series as well, the hidden, uh, what do we got there, some fear.com, 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 that wasn't released from video, uh, Blair Witch, $10, $10 every day, Children of the Horns, you'll Children of the Corns, you'll get $10, and Halloweens, you'll get $10. I already sold one of those Halloweens uh, for $10, and a uh, Children of the Corn for 10 bucks. So you do uh, get your $10 ones, which are pretty cool. Uh, Trilogy of Terror was pretty cool. Amityville Horror, fuck, that was overrated. Yeah, don't turn off just because I say that, but it was overrated. Some more Children of the Corn, $10, $10. Slugs, never heard of it. Stephen King, Tommy Knockers, okay. Okie dokie. So, all the most recent posted ones aren't that great. I spit on your grave, only $39. I heard that was a $150 video, that was a hard one to get. Maybe because it's a uh, Japanese, looks like a Japanese one there. So just from our first look at current listings, uh, horror movies are all on there at decent prices too. And the listings are just proof that they are selling every single day horror movies on VHS every single day. But let's, uh, on our search, let's go from low to high to start off with and see what our cheapest ones are. Which means these are your everyday ones that, if they go so cheap, you don't really want to pick these ones up. Okay, let's sort out from our lowest, lowest prices going at the moment. Uh, Innocent Blood, 99 cents. Jaws the Revenge, 99 cents, that's zero bids, Paul Walker movie, Stephen King movies, $5, people want shock treatment, $13 with free shipping, okay, so these are crappy horror movies, The Swarm, I've got that for sale myself, and, oh man, one's $8, someone's got it for 5 bucks, so I know that's not going to sell now, someone's undercut me. Uh, Pinocchio's Revenge, <laughs> they should be selling that for more, unless someone else has got it on there and uh, they're undercutting them, $7, Leprechauns, $5, fucking hell, Wolf, so these are all the uh, cheapest ones, and I just sold my children of the corn for $10 a couple of weeks ago, I've got Cujo, eight dollars as well actually that might be my list that is my listing <laughs> that's my listing there uh, that's my listing of jaws revenge as well and that's my listing of uh, hunger as well and vampirella jesus and little shop of horrors and jaws and razorback i do have a few uh, horrors on here valentine blade and resident evil shit we're just and there's my swarm good son 
Oh shit, suddenly all my ones were coming up, they're mine as well. Alright, and that, but not these ones. Okay, nice photos I take too. See? Nice black background. Pretty damn good. Okay, so you see the lowest uh, of all the horrors do go for about 8 bucks. 8 bucks you're looking at, so make sure you do your research. Now we'll go with the highest listings. Uh, let's see how these prices are going with the current uh, selling market. And um, these are the ones that you want to buy. Uh, you want to buy and you want to uh, undercut your opponent. Now let's go for the highest. What's the highest for sale at the moment? Okay, so I just put the postage and price the highest. And I was thinking, why the hell are these $15 and $14 ones at the top of the highest price? But look at these assholes. They want a thousand dollars and a thousand bucks. No, thousand and a half. So a grand and a half, nearly two grand for fucking postage. You crooks. All right. Same with the, this. Must be the same seller. So he's just trying to fucking. He's trying to catch someone out. Someone will accidentally click on it and it will pay straight away. He's an asshole. This guy is a fucking asshole. He's a piece of shit. Anyway, let's continue with this. Um, Ten people watching this one. That for thousand and four hundred bucks. Decker versus Dracula. Look out for that, I guess, and undercut that person. Thousand dollars, thousand dollars. Revenge, six hundred and sixty-four. Backward, evil. 700 bucks, Halloween Havoc, WCW, Evil Dead's now, I know the Evil Dead's go, 640 bucks, it's, uh, I don't know if they're dreaming or not, we'll go into the uh, sold listings soon, my bloody Valentine, Halloween, that's the first original release there, 588 bucks, 11 people watching it, and you get the, you get your fans that are um, Evil Sport, you get your fans that are fucking uh, want these movies, uh, brand new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 500 bucks. All right. What the hell? Demons. Let's. Uh, we gotta click on that. We gotta click on that. Get back up there. The demons. Let the exorcist beware. The demons are here. So she is eating out the nun. <laughs> and the demon is laughing. She is eating out the nun. Alright. Cool. The demons. 1984 rare horror. Two people viewed it. 15 watches. So, hmm. That is funny. I've never, I've never heard of that one before. And they're the ones that will sell. I don't know if for that much, but those are the ones that will sell. Alright, so what we'll do, Teen Alien. Uh, what we'll do... Oh, they live. Such a good movie. Let's see. You've got to do your research. You've got to do your research. All the Halloweens. Someone will get that. Someone will 100% get that $227. Day of the Dead. VHS. Out of the box. Alright. Oh, a whole heap of uh, Friday the 13th. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to Salt. So we'll start off with what sold recently, uh, 9 bucks. I don't know what they got for that. Toxic Avenger, definitely worth uh, 20 bucks. there, is 16 bucks. Saw Movies, 1 and 2 on VHS, someone got 30 bucks for them. Film Monsters, 7 bucks. Uh, my Bloody Valentine, Dollman, Killer Clowns, The Thing. Brotherhood 3, okay, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that one only got $22, Demons 2, $22, so what's sold lately, none don't look like they've been big spenders, Piranha 2, <laughs> and we got some King Kong lots, okay, let's have a look what the most expensive horror movies are that have been selling, okay, I never believe anything that's got bids. I never believe anything that's got bids. Uh, $2,000, $2,000, $700. They might not have paid. They might not have paid. So I can't take that. A lot of 
77 Sleaze Big Box VHS. Yeah, that was another one there. It's a Climax. $590. They paid for that. Fucking $73, you bastards. Snuff. That was a bidding one. Halloween. Okay, that sold for $516. Understandable. Wood Chipper Massacre. That was a bidder. Don't believe the bidders. Don't believe bidders. It's a blood stalkers here. Someone uh, took the best offer. Might have taken $100. We don't know. We do not know. Uh, a lot of 13. Oh man, look. And it was all bidders. I don't believe bidders. They might not have paid. They just might not have paid. These are all bidders. Okay, vampires. Looks like <laughs> sleazy vampires. Okay, Bimbo Penitentiary, that's a porno, I guess. So, Robo Vampire, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Went for 300 bucks. There is some random shit you can get uh, some good money for. Like I said, if they pay or not on the uh, bidding, that's up to you to believe or not. But, I am now going to change this to buy it now only. Okay, so we've changed it to buy it now only, because I just do not believe, do not believe those uh, bidding ones. Okay, Meat Cleaver Massacre, 280 bucks, whole heap of uh, Friday 13th, so if you can collect those, if you can get them all for like a dollar each or whatever, 10 of them, $10, you can get $219, whoa, $129 postage, you fucking bastard. Alright, so horror workout, that's stupid. Uh, what have we got? Love bites, they, they took the best offer. Uh, they live, we've seen that. So I'm just going to quickly scroll really fast, so if that doesn't make you sick watching that on the screens. Sleepaway camp. But you will get money for horror movies. Horror movies, when they sell, uh, when you look for them on listings and People are selling all their um, faces of death. Um, all their horror movies, uh, $79 for the first uh, three critters. Oh no, they're missing critters too. Um, yeah, they want... People sell them at their garage sales for $10 each. Um, and unfortunately at garage sales, you can't check. So it's not worth it, pray. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street Collection would be good to get. Sleepaway Camp is always good if you ever see Halloween. The first one, Sleepaway Camp, uh, Friday the 13th, um, and Nightmare on Elm Street. Let's let's do that. You can see, you can see here. You've got to research and horror movies. Are definitely, definitely uh, money makers. My little advice is stick to the movies you know. If you don't know certain horror movies, if you don't know, like for instance, if you don't know Scanners 3, if you don't know what that's worth or if it's a big horror movie, stick with what you know. You might only know, you might only know your Halloweens. And if you only know your Halloweens and your Freddies and your Jasons and all that, stick with what you actually know because you know that these are going to be worth money at garage sales and other things and all that. When people are uh, setting a price, you can't really stand there and have a look to see what is worth money. But I can tell you now, Halloween, Jason and Freddy are always worth money. And that's what I want to type in and have a little look. Definitely stick to what you know uh, when it comes to when you go to garage sales and that. So Friday the 13th, we'll look up that uh, in the horror genre. So that person actually got $219. We saw that before. Uh, this one here. Never Hike Alone, it's a bit of a rip off. Horror movie of Friday the 13th. Um, another one, another 8 collection there, got $100. Just for the Friday the 13th, part 4. $81. Uh, $76 just for number 8 there. Um, yep, another uh, basically $73. Oh, this person fucking ripped him off with postage. Uh, why is 
Blu-ray come up. I know that old uh, box cover there of uh, the original Friday the 13th you do get a good hundred bucks for. And of course, uh, you know, you don't get to see exactly what eBay has sold uh, forever. It's only the last couple of months because uh, as things get sold you don't get to see uh, other listings that are sold over time, unfortunately. Uh, Friday 13th final chapter there, 81 bucks. Part 2, 50 bucks. Part 5, 50 bucks. So, as you can see, Friday the 13th is a definitely good uh, way to go. Let's try Nightmare on Elm Street. Same deal. VHS, yep. Uh, we want Soul, though. Okay. I don't believe bidders. So, we'll go. now okay so $65 here $34 the new nightmare they sold interesting international sellers have sold them as well I don't know why that didn't come up because I usually have that all in one 88 bucks for all of them 66 and 73 for all them 66 as well 59 for the lot, that's a bit cheap. 53 for the lot, that's a bit cheap as well. But you kind of get your drift that uh, original Nightmare on Elm Street, 50 bucks. So you kind of get the picture. We'll do one more just for fun. And this is a good one Halloween. Halloween 1, sealed. $516. That was legit got given one bid did they pay the bastards for 50 okay they're just bringing up for some reason non Mike Myers stuff but looks like if you've got a there we go another original Halloween $50 that's factory sealed as well Halloween $332 but who knows what they offer they took um, Stephen King's at 20 bucks, $110 there for a big fat uh, clamshell. The day after Halloween, Omen 3. <laughs> this is by just typing in Halloween, this one. Uh, Halloween 5, $73. So you get some good money for them as well. It's a hell yes from me. You could score great profit if you get your hands on the Freddy Jason or uh, Mike Myers Halloween, anything like that, Hellraisers, all that type of stuff. You can get some good money, but don't buy too high. These resellers that sell at garage sales and all that know what they're selling, so you need to know and research what you are buying to resell. You're gonna make some good profit off horror movies. And be careful, because a lot a lot are only $10 sales. You're only going to get $10 for a lot of these old horror movies. So really do your research, please. And once again, I don't know how many times I have to say it, but don't let that seller charge you too much at the garage sale because you are not going to make any profit. Any profit at all. I've been tricked a few times. Don't get tricked. And I'm still searching. I'm still searching for that day when someone sells a big box of horror movies. 80s and 90s horror movies. For nothing because they don't know what they've got and then I'm gonna come home with a gold mine it's gonna be the best lot you've ever fucking seen but until then like, subscribe don't forget to watch all the other content and I'll be back with you with another episode let me know down in the comments if there's anything else that you want to research and have a look to see if it sells on eBay because I'm gonna do a few of these videos uh, next video is going to be hmm, I just have to wait and see See you!